Hello, everyone. So today uh, we are going to see how to fill the GATE 2024 form, that is the Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering 2024. Uh, this is especially a video for those of you who are trying to give a XC Excel exam. Uh, so let's continue. So the first step for the newcomers would be to register here. Okay, we click on register here. You have to first register and then log in. In case you've already registered, just uh, put in uh, your ID that you have received through your mail into that and uh, continue with the login process. Firstly, we'll have to write a name. So here you'll write your first name, then your middle name, and then your surname. And then you have to rewrite your name and confirm, click on confirm. Please make sure that your name uh, is same as uh, the name that you have put on your verifying ID, like Aadhaar card or, or the photo ID that you are going to submit for the process. We click on confirm. Now it will ask you whether you have put in the correct details. If you if it is yes, then do continue. And then you write in your mail ID. Please make sure that you're filling in your active email ID the one you have access to, because all further communication will happen through this email ID only. Then you put in your number. You confirm your number because OTP will also be received on this number. So please make sure that you're writing the right number. Now, uh, here you have to make a password, okay, for uh, this registration. Now you can have any password of your choice. Okay, get up green either. That means uh, that your password is strong enough to uh, be a good password that only you can access. Do not share your password with anyone. And also you have to reconfirm your password. Now you'll have to enter this capture. Okay, and now you just have to click on register. Now, as you can see that it has directed us to this login page where uh, our email ID has already been filled, password has also already been filled. You just need to enter the CAPTCHA and log in. Okay. Now, please make sure that uh, before you are filling in the application, you have made sure that uh, your eligibility criteria is uh, up to the mark and uh, you fulfill the eligibility criteria and you have read the information brochure because that is really going to help you in filling out the form and if it is necessary for you to fill this form or not. Okay, the document data. Uh, you also need to have uh, the data or document that is mentioned in the brochure uh, with you before filling the form. So please make sure that you have uh, read the information brochure and you have the documents and data that is absolutely necessary for filling this form. Now, I just click on, yes, I hereby declare that I have read gate 2024 information brochure and I'm ready to fill the application form. Then we click on this. And now, select the number of test papers you want, okay? So here you select paper, for example, of me. Agriculture engineering. We're just taking this for example. Okay, continue. Then you need to select three preferences for uh, the convenient locations of examination center, uh, whichever is, you know, the most nearest to your uh, residing city. Uh, now I'm just going to take some randomly. Okay. Keep uh, the location nearest to you on your first priority and then uh, second and third. Okay. Now we're going to save. This data has been saved successfully. Now we continue. Okay. Now, one thing that you need to uh, know is that both the papers, gate XC and Excel, are going to be on the same date and same timing. So you cannot uh, fill the application form for both the exams because you won't be able to give them because they're going to happen simultaneously. So please make sure uh, which exam you're going for uh, prior uh, to filling this form because either you can give XC or Excel whichever in whichever examination your performance would be better and your chances of clearing the examination would be better uh, it would be advisable to opt for that um, exam now we need to fill our personal details okay 
सो यहाँ पर हमारा नाम नेम एंड आर ई मेल आई डी एंड नंबर है नाउ यू जस्ट नीड टू पुट इन योर डेट ऑफ बर्थ एंड प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट डेट ऑफ बर्थ इज ऑल्सो द सेम एज दैट ऑन द गवर्नमेंट आई डी और आइडेंटिटी प्रूफ दैट यू गोइंग टू सबमिट ओके नाउ यू नीड टू कन्फर्म दिस डेट ठीक है दिस डेट ऑफ बर्थ एज रिपोर्टेड हेयर विल बी नीडेड ड्यूरिंग द गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम ओके सो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू पुट इन द राइट डेट ऑफ बर्थ बिकॉज दिस फोन बी यू कॉन चेंज इट लेटर ऑन ओके एंड दिस विल बी नीडेड ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम सो आई पुट इन द राइट डेट आई प्लेस कंटिन्यू सिलेक्ट योर जेंडर नेशनैलिटी देन योर कैटेगरी ओके uh then if you are a person with disability no we are not a uh, candidate if if yes then click on yes candidate with dyslexia or similar learning disabilities if you if yes then click yes and otherwise no uh now country of permanent residence india if it's india then you select india and if it's other then there are options okay select the state that you're from Uh, okay. Select ID proof that you are going to submit so Aadhaar ID if you have. Otherwise, there are other options also. Ah, uh, driving license I have, Aadhaar virtual ID, some other proof that Aadhaar virtual ID. And there are other options also: passport, voter ID, PAN card, government issued ID, whatever, whichever suits you better. Ah, uh, now valid photo ID number. This would be the number that is on the Aadhaar card or the PAN card or whatever, whichever. a uh, government id that you're giving them so the number on that would be this now name of parent guardian you fill here the relationship type whichever agar aapne apne father ka dala hai you select father if mother spouse or any other there are also other options uh now if parent guardian is from india if not then other and then you'll have to select the country okay but mine is from indian फ्रॉम इंडियन ओरिजिन नाउ यहाँ पे आपको यू हैव टू फिल इन दॉन्टैक्ट नंबर ऑफ योर पेरेंट गार्डियन ओके नाउ वील जस्ट क्लिक ऑन सेव प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू क्लिक ऑन सेव बिफोर यू गो टू नेक्स्ट सो दैट द डेटा दैट यूर फिलिंग कीप्स ऑन गेटिंग सेव ओके नाउ हियर यू हैव टू राइट योर पिन कोड then select country india aapka state ya ut okay then you have to select your state and ut address you have to write iske baad college pin code aapka qualifying degree jisme thi uh, uh the college pin code you have to uh, sorry uh now in whichever uh, degree you have qualified in uh, you have to put in uh, the pin code for that college theek hai and then it will automatically uh, load the college university's uh, country state union territory it is in and the college city town or uh, the place where the college is uh, in okay now institute registration roll number you have to write here okay this you can find on your mark sheet the college qualifying mark sheet that you uh, would have gotten Okay. State the qualifying degree. Which degree uh, did you qualify from? So, for example, you have a B.Sc. Agriculture and Horticulture and Forestry area, but you choose uh, whichever qualifying degree you have. Discipline of qualifying degree was. Um, agriculture, tech, agriculture science. Okay, we have selected. Now. Uh, year of qualify. Here, have you graduated in the above degrees? Of course, you have. That is why you have put in so much details. Then, उसके बाद year of qualifying degree. यहाँ पे year आपका क्या है? Did you qualify it in twenty twenty one? What was the date on the mark sheet? Ah, uh, when the mark sheet was given to you, the date of qualifying year for the last year. So, for example, twenty twenty three may only you have qualified. Okay. Now, degree awarding. Which university did you get the degree from? so there are options you can also search your own uh, college here 
okay and it will show the results uh, if it is a recognized university then it will show among the results so let's for example take the indira, indira gandhi national tribal university here the college name will also be uh, given so you just need to search your college name here and it will uh, load there and you can select that okay and then you do save next again now here we have come on the important the most important part of the whole application you have to upload your color photograph which should be in these set dimensions and uh, said uh, uh, so here you have to upload your uh, photograph color photograph of yours a passport size color photograph in these set dimensions uh, and it has to meet the following criteria that is given here then you also have to have to upload a signature uh, in the same format and upload photo id as given here okay as the directions given here okay and if your photograph is uh, if your photograph is not of the set dimensions or in the said uh, category then you can always go on to google and compress your photograph according to uh, the resolution needed and uh, the kb and mb is needed okay uh, then you can also upload the signature in the same way okay and you upload the photo id also photo id is your uh, identity card uh, the aadhar id or whichever photo id you have opted for in the previous section now how did you come to know about gate you you have to select the source of information. Was it through a poster? Was it an internet search, social media, employment news, newspaper items, word of mouth, job site? Okay, so let's say that you heard of GATE through us. Then you select social media through Instagram. Okay, and if not, then you have very, very many options. Uh, now we'll review and you can view the application form if you would like to see that uh, everything is in the right place and you have not put any wrong information there or uh, you can review and submit or you can click on review and submit and it will give you a proper view of the application form and after you have seen that everything is in the right place everything uh, everything that is filled is right you can just click on the submit button and then it will take you to the payment portal so i hope you found this video very informative uh, and Please uh, subscribe to our channel uh, for more such informative videos on GATE, XAXL or uh, other food and agriculture technology related exams uh, in the food and agriculture allied uh, fields. Okay, thank you so much.